Welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited to have my husband Menel with me. Hello. <laughs> because what we're going to show you has, I think he's going to say, transformed his life in the gym and in his sports and in his general day-to-day -day functional movements. Am I right? Yeah, definitely. So he's been actually doing this with me just for over a week and he's been telling me about incredible results he's feeling in his flexibility. I will let him speak at the end about some of the benefits. We're going to run you through this very quick mobility snack as I call it, but it's something you can do before your workouts or even standalone. We're doing tonight before bed just to ease out any of the tension from the day. So we're going to run through eight moves. We're going to start off and I will talk you through each move. We're going to start off with some lovely walkouts going into the world's greatest stretch, like the fitness salutations, taking a deep breath in, lifting your arms up, breathe out as you bring the arms down, hinging at your hips, place your hands in front of your feet. You can bend the legs if you need to and walk out your hands into a lovely straight high plank where your hands are directly under your shoulders, Suck your core in, we're holding here for a few seconds. If you need to bring your knees down at any point, you can. We're gonna try and bring one right foot out towards your right hand. If you can't get as, get as far as us, it's fine. You can just be further back. Just place your heel down into the ground, sink your hips down, try and level everything out so it's nice and parallel. Holding here for four seconds, then replace the leg back. We're going to do the same on the other side. Deep breathing, core tight, back nice and straight throughout this whole workout today. Two, one, leg back. You're going to lift the hips and slowly walk the hands back towards your feet and unravel the spine. Breathing in. We're going to do three of everything today. We've actually built up to doing eight of each exercise, but just for the essence of time and to show you, we're going to do three of everything. The main thing is to try and hold each of these hip openers down for four seconds. To open out, you can also get a nice spinal twist as a progression, lifting one arm, and you've got a lovely straight line from that hand down to the one in the ground and bringing it back, foot goes back as well. Perfect high plank, repeating on the other side, holding for four, maybe adding that twist in. This is so lovely for your spine. And this all body weight exercises, so really good for muscle building, strengthening, and bring it back. Lifting the hips up, you can have your legs bent or nice and straight and really roll up the spine. And last one, Menel, breathing in, breathing out. We're going to walk it down into that high plank. Are you feeling warm already? Good. This is literally what I call my feel-good fitness salutations. And it's literally warming up every muscle and all the joints in your body. So really great way to mobilize before a longer workout or just to do as a daily flexibility and mobility practice. Holding for four seconds, replacing down, and we're gonna step it back. Second move, lovely. We're gonna take a forward lunge for anyone with any knee issues. You could do a reverse lunge. You're going to take a nice long stride forward, balance, so core in tight, back nice and straight, arms up at chest level, and we're going to twist round that front bent leg, same side. You're going to try and really hold here for four seconds, and then push back when you're ready. Other leg. So with your lunge, I'm saying a nice long stride to protect your front knee so it's not going over that front toe. Back knee is probably hovering off the ground. You can get deeper in your lunge as you progress and you can twist more. So you're looking over your shoulder, twisting round and back. Do you feel a difference doing these a lot? Yeah, I can see a difference in a week and a half I've been doing it. It's been massive. I can't remember doing 
And that's with, he plays a lot of golf as well. Do you think it's been helping your sports as well? Yeah, definitely. Less injuries, less prone to any issues with strength training. Yeah, totally. So important with strength training. And that's predominantly um, the stuff that we love, right? I train very similar to Menel um, with weights. But I think the missing piece of the jigsaw especially for men. You can do eight of those. We're just showing you four, so two on each side for today. We're now going to hug one knee in. Bit of balance work if you need a wall or a chair for support. We're going to try and lift one leg and really hug that knee in as high as possible and as close to your chest as possible. So you're going to get lovely opening here around the glutes, your hips, and we're getting in balance. So we're holding for about four seconds. We're gonna do four of these today. If you were doing squats, Menel, you could even open this nice and wide, almost like in your squat position. You could even roll out your ankles. So just giving your ankles a bit of mobility. Don't worry if you lose balance, just rejoin, reset. Balance is so important, especially in midlife and as we age is to help us reduce our risks of falls. And obviously we know a lot about fractures as people get older, but what people don't realize is that by balancing on one leg, this is taking all my body weight, and that's gonna help correct any muscular imbalances, which are really common when we're like more dominant on one side, or sometimes you'll notice one side being stronger than the other in your squats or your lunges, right? and relax. So eight of those would be amazing. We're now going to come down to the floor and we're going to start in a high plank position. I love this one because this is like a nice yoga flow. So hands directly under your shoulders, straight line from the top of your head down. I'm going to show you uh, the harder way and then I'll show you an easier way. If you can with yoga, you're going to try and Keep your elbows close to your body, come to a half press up, so you're hovering off the ground, and then scoop your body through and under like a chaturanga. You can lift your knees off in this upward dog, and then in this cobra position, and then we're gonna go to down dog, tuck the toes under, and lift the hips. You can pedal out the heels, bringing your chest towards the thighs and holding here for four seconds or both heels down towards the ground. And we're gonna do that flow up to eight times. We're gonna do it three times today. I'm gonna to show you an easier version, which would be with your knees down, similarly coming down, and maybe to a low cobra, like a sphinx position. In case you can't do that full cobra position, make sure you squeeze your glutes in the cobra, whichever version you're doing, and then you could go back to your down dog. And over time, even your down dog, you should be feeling, is it a little bit easier, Menel? Much easier than eight. Yeah. Wow, and you've not done much yoga, something I've been wanting you to do. So this way we're getting in all the benefits of yoga, which are endless and something that I love. But I'm so glad you're putting into your daily practice now. And when you tie your breath in with the moves, I feel like it's almost like my meditation. And it's so good for our mental health, calming, kicking in the parasympathetic nervous system. It's like a little reset. So we're going to stay on the ground, Menel, and we're going to do our scorpions next. So we're going to bring your, your belly down to the ground. We'll all start with our right hand by our armpit. Left arm is out to the side. And you're just gonna take this one easy. You're gonna try and push over. That right foot is coming up and round. And you're gonna try, let's do the same direction. So you're coming this way, men or the other way. That's it. Up and round and your ears gonna try and relax down to the ground. You're also opening out this right hip as much as it goes and you can push against your right hand to really open out, but take it nice and slow, hold for four seconds, then left hand in, right arm out, and we're going the other direction. You might feel that this ear is a little bit easier or harder on one side. This is a great one for 
your chest, your pectorals, the back of your back. Um, where do you feel this, Menor? Feels really good to my shoulder. Shoulders especially good. We'll just do one more on each side. And over time, you might just be able to get your head closer to the ground. You might be up here, which I see is very common. You might be really tight. I want you to take deep breaths into any areas of tension and just listen to your body. Obviously, if there's things you can't do, replace it with something that you can do or another exercise. Go at your own pace and coming through. Brilliant. So we have now got our lovely pigeon position, which again is quite a deep stretch. We're going to start on all fours and we're going to bring your um, right knee towards your right wrist and that right foot is going to just come out to the side. Doesn't matter if it's not parallel to the mat, but it's going to come out towards your left wrist. You're going to stay here. This is quite an intense position because we're encouraging your left hip down towards that right heel, if that makes sense. And you're going to feel a really good opening. You could even rock side to side and hold here for four seconds. The progression, as Menel was about to show, is to then progress slowly. This is a very deep stretch to maybe your forearms down to the ground. Or because I practice this daily, I'm getting my full head down, my arms extended, and I'm breathing in. And I'm really encouraging, over time, your hip should be on that heel. We're going to slowly maybe tip out of that one. It's a good way to get out of it. And then do it on the other side. We're going to bring your left knee towards your left wrist, maybe edging that foot out, Menel. So over time, you could progress by just bringing that foot out. It's really hard, but just the fact that you're doing these now and you couldn't do them a week ago. So again, you could just start off here, rock it out, really breathe into that deep, deep opening around your groin, your inner thighs, your glutes, your thighs, abductors, adductors. Feel where you can go and hold for four and then tip it out. We're going to just do two of those today, but you could build up to eight of those. We're now going to get up to our feet and you're going to grab either a pair of old tights like I use in lots of my workouts during the pandemic or if you have a resistance band, anything with a bit of stretch. To be honest, even a belt or a gown tie will do. So anything, you don't need fancy equipments for my workouts. We're going to do Lavina's famous shoulder floss, which I've been doing for years. And I encourage all ages to try and do this. It looks easy. I want you to practice this in front of a mirror. You're inhaling and exhaling as your arms come up and over your body. What I see nowadays, because of everyone being on screens, is that roundness, the kyphosis of the spine, where people tend to not be able to come up symmetrically up and over. So if you need to bend your arms, bend the arms. You may not be able to come all the way back down towards your glutes, but over time you can. And that's the full range of mobility in your shoulder joint, which is craving that mobility. So this is the one where I go into workplaces and I say to people, when you're stuck at your desk, keep a belt or a band and just do your shoulder flossing. Even seated, you'll see in my feel good workout playlists on YouTube. I do them with my mother-in-law regularly. Eight of these for this mobility snack would be perfect. And the tighter you hold your band or belt, the more resistance. So it's going to be harder. That's a good way to progress. And the last exercise is we're going to do a nice low squat, as low as you can go with or without the band. The band is giving us this lovely chest opener and the resistance. My back is straight, my stomach muscles are in tight. You're going to try and go into a perfect squat with your knees coming out, same direction as your toes. You could stop here or you could get nice and low like a yogi squat, keeping your body nice and upright, holding for four and then pushing up, exhale. If your arms are tired, Menel, do you want to do one or two with your hands behind your head, just to show everyone the options. 
So we're gonna go down, we're gonna hold. Don't worry if you can't go as low as me. I've been practicing these. You can stay higher. Just hold, you've got that isometric hold, which is really good to fire up and challenge the muscles in our legs, strengthening them, breathing in and out. Keep breathing. Make sure you exhale on the way up. We'll do one more for luck. And you can build up to that eight repetitions of each exercise in your own time. So there you have it, our 15 minute today mobility snack. If you're short on time, remember that every single minute counts and you could maybe even just do one or two reps I've of the exercises. I started with two reps of everything. And then um, I increased it to four at the moment of everything because I don't have as much time before because I do it pre-workout. So you do it in the mornings? Do in the morning before I do my strength work. Amazing. Change my training. So how has it changed your training? Um, I don't feel the niggles I used to feel in my shoulder, upper back, in the neck. Everything feels far more easy. Yeah. And I don't want to say, but you I are. I don't jinx it. You but. are fifty-one, <laughs> and I was um, hearing a lot about aches and pains. Um, and I guess I've always told you to stretch, and I've always been a little bit like going on about it. But I think um, just listening to how you've enjoyed this has been. I have to be really, honest. Really exciting. The first day I did it, I said I'm never doing this again, and that's the truth. But I. I just persevered and the change, I can't actually do my strength work without it now. Wow, yeah. so did you hear that? And this is really, we'll step forward. Um, this is really to encourage a lot of men who I see, especially if you're training in gyms, where they're lifting heavy weights potentially or doing a lot of cardio, regardless of whatever your workout out, it's so important to stretch and more importantly, to even mobilize and prepare your muscles and joints for the exercises that you're doing. So I've done it, in, I can do it now in 10 minutes. And that's the best 10 minutes I spend, oh, honestly. Yay. Yeah. That yeah. is music to my ear. Yeah, but it's, and it's from a sporting perspective. Obviously, we've taken up paddle tennis recently. No niggles in the elbows, running more freely, hip joints are much easier, recovery is better. Just about to say recovery, will, there'll be massive improvements in terms of even how your muscles sometimes ache and you get the DOMS to minor niggles and twinges that we tend to feel. Um, what about with your strength training? Are you seeing any differences there? So I'm very careful. I'm not about lifting really heavy, no, but no. gradually I found that the weights I'm lifting, I need to lift heavier because I'm finding it easy. So I'm actually finding the same thing. Isn't that so interesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been doing this for about two weeks religiously, every single day. And I'm not about hitting personal bests and PBs on my strength training anymore. I'm 45. I just want to feel strong and build muscle mass, which is really hard during perimenopause. Um, but I am finding that I am able to lift heavier and I'm not feeling as tired, I'm not getting the aches and pains and I'm actually feeling stronger and more energized. So um, I feel like it's working. I haven't changed anything else in terms of um, my food or my approach or anything like that. So I have to admit, on my rest day, which is supposed to be a rest day, I did a little bit of cardio, but all I did was more flexibility Yay. on that day. Nothing else. This is music to my ears. I've been wanting to him to try like yoga flows and flexibility yeah. and tying in the breath work um, just to help, you know, just to get us through our stressful, busy lives. It's kind of like a bit of self-care. Do you feel that? Yeah, but don't give up. After the first day, maybe do one rep of everything, then do two reps. I agree. I was just going to say Then do two today. reps for two days, three reps for three days. Do something like that because... It's not easy at first to get in to these positions, but I, I find it, as long as you breathe through it now, I find it easier. I have to say, he wasn't um, into stretching and flexibility. Those positions that you found really hard from old football injuries, um, that now I'm pretty amazed seeing your body being able to do all of those. And I think that's the best way to start, like a little snack, one rep of everything, that will take you just a couple of minutes. You build up your confidence 
and then you can just start slowly progressing. Yeah, just to give you one example, which might help from a side point. So I just want to be, when I was doing this stretch and I put my leg, I couldn't get my leg to even here, to even here. I was really, so I just started there. But now I'm here. And that's, oh just, my gosh. that's just in a week and a half. Wow, 10 days, guys. This is like insane. I'm so glad you showed me that because you were telling me on the, he phoned me this morning um, from after yeah. the gym to say, that position, I've never been able to get my leg that far round. And it was flat and really good form. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Really enjoying it. I'm proud of you. Amazing. So guys out there listening, girls and guys, um, I really hope this motivates you to invest in your mobility, in your preparation, or even as a stretch at the end of the day, just like we have done. Um, we're going to have to go back to the family now, but I really hope this video helps. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more content. Please drop us a comment, a thumbs up, and please share and like this video. I would love you to share it with anyone that would benefit because I'm trying to help as many people as I can to feel good. Do you feel good, Menel? Feel good. <laughs> feel good with Lavina.